I don't think I've said this before, but I am a huge fan of Hanna-Barbera shows. I am, I, I really do, I enjoy Hanna-Barbera. From Tom and Jerry to to the Flint, to the Yogi Bear, to the, the Jetsons, to Wacky Races. I love Hanna-Barbera. They, even, even the original Scooby-Doo stuff, I don't mind. I haven't seen everything they did. I don't. I haven't seen Huckleberry Hound. I haven't seen Quick Drama Draw. I haven't seen seen the Smurfs or their later work for Cartoon Network. Okay, I've seen Johnny Bravo, but I haven't seen Dexter's Lab. But I enjoy Hanna Barbera. I cannot, and I even I enjoy their their TV shows. They make TV movies. I even don't mind their their mo their fe their few theatrical movies like Hey There, Shaggy Bear, and and Char Charlotte's Web. I haven't seen either of those in a while. The last time I remember seeing Charlotte's Web was probably back when I was seven. But, yeah. But I'm not here to talk about my love for Hannah Barbera. I'm here to talk about one thing in particular the Flintstones. I love the Flintstones. In fact, from when I was 10 and 11, I used to watch the show all the way through. I love the Flintstones. And much like all the Hannah Barbera's, all other Hannah Barbera stuff, I watched it. As many of the TV shows as I could. I watched it many the TV movies. I especially love Holy Rock My Baby. Probably right up there with the two the Yogi Bear ones as my favourites. And I even saw their theatrical anime movie, The Man, a Man Called Flintstone. Much like other ha Hanna Barbera shows, there would eventually be a live action movie starring John Goodman, Rick Moranis, and Rosie O'Donnell. And yeah, it's not good, but. It's not so bad. I mean, trust me. You would you would consider the 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 original live action movie a godsend. When you come across the sequel, Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas, and that's what we're talking about. Since I brought it up at the end of my liking live action remake review, now let me just say this: as I said before, this is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely garbage and forgettable. I mean, I remember so much from every other thing involving the Flintstones, even uh, even the like the original like the first live action movie. But I don't remember much when it comes to this movie. Uh, basic premise: Well, this is a prequel to the original, uh, to the original live action movie, where we see Fl Fred and Barney as as lower life bachelors in the town of Bedrock. They're trying to hook up with girls, but they're unsuccessful. Even when they meet the great Gazoo. Now, in the original show, Gazoo appears in the final season right after, of course, when Fred, when Pebbles and Bam Bam, right after Pebbles and Bam Bam came into the play. Well, a, two seasons after Bam Bam came in, but um, then, but in this, he appears in the past. I don't think he play, He's even played by Harvey Korman in this. So he's played by someone else. Uh, Harvey Korman appears in the in the movie, but not as the great Gazoo. Why? Um, we then meet Wilma, who is an attractive young billionaire, billionaireess, and she's been courted by 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 those by those no nonsense jer rich jerks who want to, who wants to marry her. Wilma runs away and meets Betty, who is a roller skating waitress. Why? Wilma joins in, has a hard time working out, then they eventually meet Fred and Barney. The two, the two couples, the, t the four of them, when they have chemistry between each other, they become fast friends. Fred becomes attracted to Wilma, Barney becomes attracted to Betty, and they all go to, to Rock Vegas for fun. They also bring up a, a young puppy, Dino, which Fred wins in a competition, and just hijinks and sure. I don't know what else I can say about it. You know, in a way, how this will probably end. But... You, you don't care. And it's not even remember, rememberable. Not, nothing you can... You can't really remember anything. I, I remember a lot from the, from the first live-action movie, as I said before. But I don't remember anything in this. The story's that bland. And I don't get what they do. With some the ideas they choose for some of these characters. I mean, Fred and Barney are living in a in a caravan. I think. Why? I'm okay with the Wilma billionaire scene that's established, but 
Betty is a roller skating waitress. Would she do that in the, in the show? She didn't. Kazoo and Dino are pointless in this. Just for fan service, I guess. And everything else is just boring. I mean, Rock Vegas. Cool pun. Not a good, not the best puns. Seen it before. <sighs> the the fian woman's betrothed fiance, a jerk. Your business. Her mother just doesn't listen to her. She's just a prejudiced parent. I've seen that so many times. I don't like the cliche. The you get a spoof of Mick Jagger. Call Mick Jagged. Why? This the Viva Rock Vegas song. Dance scene at the end. Yeah, I, I I don't remember any. It's just painful. I don't remember much. Okay, maybe I do remember a bit, but it's just. It takes a while to remember every single detail in this movie. There's some. There are many things I don't remember. And yeah. I I, I don't remember anything. They changed the the actors from the original from the first live action movie. The only one I can recall is Stephen Baldwin as Barney. And as I said, Harvey Coleman makes an appearance in this, but not but not as good as I I don't know, I, I just barely can remember things in this. The things I do remember are pretty painful. The only thing I actually liked was this small little scene. They're at this hotel. Fred, Will, Barney, and Betty, and they're in this hot tub. Now, to get down to the hot tub, they have to go down a water slide, and yeah, I, I like that. I actually do. I think that's pretty cool. Water sliding into a hot tub. That's fine. <laughs> I, I love that. Cool set design. But why am I only liking that one I, compared to everything else? I don't know. Sorry, I'm not going really angry into this. I, as I said, it's just bland, forgettable, and completely pointless. Don't really need this movie to exist. Seriously? Why do you even have to? I, I wouldn't recommend watching this. If you want to watch at least one live action Flintstones movie, watch the original, because, yeah, it's bad, but it's nothing like this. Unless you like well signed to hot tub scenes. Uh, I don't know why. I'm, I, as I said, I, I don't know why I like that part. I just do. But regardless, this this is a really bad movie. And as I said, it's one of my least favorite movies of all time. I mean, it's not a movie that gets me absolutely agitated by. I mean, stuff, stuff like Dougal and I Am Sam... Uh, get me a little bit more angry, but I do consider this worse than Dougal, just because I love the Flintstones so much, to see this defraternize it does get me annoyed. And I'm not sure I have a, in a way with Dougal, I'm not sure I have some sort of insanity that you know, I can, I don't know what I can say, at least Dougal had at least two attributes that that made it or that I could actually like, as I said, Chevy Chase and the animation. This all I can think of is just a brief set idea. I, I don't even know what to classify the hot tub what a slide part. I don't even know. But regardless, I I hate this movie. Can't really go out full and angry. I'm just annoyed and I don't want to ever talk about it again. What am I going to give this? Um, let me think. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I think if I remember correctly, I gave Dougal 0 0.5 out of 10 out of stars. I might have to do the same thing here. Going right to. Uh, I think I gave it. Sorry, I have my book here. So I write down notes, and I'm pretty sure I gave Dougal. Yep. Yeah, I'll have to do 0 out of 10 high stars for this as well. But it's definitely worse than Dougal, I feel.
Not as fast as I am Sam, but still really bad. But, hey, now I'm done with this, I can move on to actually reviewing the original Lion King. So, I'm happy to do that after getting through this atrocity. Uh, review, talking about this atrocity. So, my next review, I'll, I'll do the original Lion King and prove why it's the superior movie to the well, way superior movie to the live action movie I, I, I reviewed a few weeks ago. Well, as we answer these out, and I'll see you for my for my return to the circle of life. Ciao.